Hi, I'm Pastor Eric from Trinity Lutheran Church. I want to invite you into a conversation called Gospel Connections. We'll explore a theme from this previous worship service this week and see how that meaning connects to our lives as Christians today. This past Thursday, we had a Monday Thursday worship service. Monday in Latin means commandment. And we recognize how Jesus in this commandment he teaches during that Last Supper means to love one another as he loved us. That Monday Thursday, which again, we recognize the Last Supper occurred, is another opportunity for us as a congregation to have First Communion for four of our students. Just as Jesus provided First Communion for his disciples on that same evening. During that First Communion service, we provided each of them a small little wooden chalice that you can see here. And we served them communion through bread and wine or bread and juice. And they used this particular cup and they took it home with them. So they each received their own small wooden chalice to remember that evening that they first received the real presence of Jesus' body and blood in, with, and under the bread and wine or the bread and juice of that sacramental meal and how it's connected to Jesus' commandment, which he taught the disciples that evening to love one another as he loved us or to love one another as he continues to love us. It's a book that I'm reading called The Saint's Guide to Happiness, and it describes love in this way. Love allows us to see with new eyes, to look beneath appearances to a deeper truth or value. Something may be shabby and worn, lacking in evident value or quality, yet its association with a person we love or time when we are especially happy endows it with immeasurable worth. A child's shoe or a clumsy drawing, our father's sweater, our mother's teacup. Everything has its own secret life. Love gathers these disparate objects and makes them channels of God's grace. So our hope for those four students that received their first communion and the hope for each of us as we recognize they used this chalice to receive first communion yesterday evening. Our hope is whenever they see this in the coming years and throughout the rest of their entire lives, it may be a symbol of Jesus' love for them then and Jesus' love for them in the future and in present times, communicated to them through that meal and how that love they will never be separated from at any time. And at the same time, as we look at that First Communion cup that I'm showing you here, may that be a symbol for us to just remember and embrace how Jesus' love is present when we receive communion and how that love and abounding grace provides us forgiveness of sin and how we too are called then to love one another out in the world as Jesus loved us and have a special meaning behind why we do it and be inspired by Jesus to continue loving people in that way in our community, congregation, and beyond. Well, I hope you're able to join us for Easter worship either this Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. in our parking lot, at 10.30 a.m. in our indoor worship service, or virtually on Facebook, YouTube, or the TV channel at 10 a.m. I hope you all have a blessed Easter week and hope to see you soon.